So what's this I hear about my baby sister going to college? Mom and Dad told me congratulations. Thanks. Have you activated your school account? Nope. School email? Nope. Filled out any health forms? Nope. No? No. We need to get on to that. If you want to go anywhere in life, I still have time. Put down that phone and get started. Welcome to the internet, your gateway to adventure. Hi, my name is Rachel. I am a member of the SUNY Class of 2017. You ready? Here we go. It is my mission to help you through the hectic process of applying to a college with little tricks and tips of my own. Your mission. receive your acceptance packet. Inside of this packet, there is the letter that informs you that you made it in Oswego, the fee waiver form, and a paper that gives you instructions for My Oswego. On this paper, you have a heading that gives you your campus ID and your PIN number. Your My Oswego. You go online to oswego.edu forward slash My Oswego. Use the information provided on the sheet, that being your LakerNet ID number and PIN number, to access your My Oswego. When choosing to enroll, if you wish to enroll online, after logging into My Oswego, click on the Admissions Office Deposit Process link and follow the instructions. If you wish to submit using a paper check, there's instructions given for that too. You need to mail the check to SUNY Oswego with the correct amount with a check written out to SUNY Oswego. Any questions regarding this process, contact the admissions department at 315-312-2250 or email them at admiss at oswego.edu. After going through the enrollment process, if you wish to change your LakerNet ID and PIN number, which I highly recommend. You go onto the first link on the My Oswego page labeled Personal. There you can change all the addresses and change your LakerNet ID and PIN number with several other things that are important for you to change to personalize your information. My Oswego is important for setting up your email, doing your housing, filling out your health history and immunization forms, signing up for orientation, and accessing your class schedule and unofficial transcript online. On my Oswego, there's a link labeled New Student Menu. The list is setting up your Oswego email. You can go to the email site by clicking that link or by going to oswego.edu forward slash mail. From here, you use your Laker ID and PIN number to log into your email. Next thing to worry about are your health forms. You need to fill out these forms before you attempt to apply for housing or sign up for orientation. The health forms are found at oswego.edu forward slash walker or on the new student menu on my Oswego. As far as your health goes, there is a insurance included in the tuition through school. That is $650. However, if you have insurance for your parents or for yourself, and you wish to be waived from this fee, there is inside of your acceptance packet a waiver form that needs to be filled out and sent to the Mary Walker Center. If you have any questions, check out the school's website at oswego.edu or contact me through Facebook or Twitter.